In what's being described as a sign of hope and rebirth, a badly damaged Catholic cathedral reopens in war-torn Syria. The Maronite Cathedral of St. Elijah in the northern city of Aleppo was bombarded with missiles on at least three occasions between 2012 and 2016. It also suffered extensive damage when jihadists entered the city's Christian quarter in 2013. The 19th century cathedral reopened yesterday following renovations. Joining me now on Skype to tell us more is Edward Clancy, Director of Outreach for Aid to the Church in Need USA. Edward, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. So this reopening has been a long time coming. Can you talk a little bit about the cathedral's history and what the restoration symbolizes for the Christians of Aleppo? Sure. The cathedral was, it was built on a 15th century chapel, so it has a five or 600-year history in the region. And uh, back in 2000, between 2012 and 13, there was numerous attacks on it. In fact, when the Archbishop of, uh, of Aleppo, of the Melkite Church, was visiting, the, the cathedral was actually bombed on the day that he was here, in April. Uh, so the, the great dome in the center of the church was destroyed, and a couple of other walls were damaged. So the cathedral was re remained bare, essentially, to the, the elements, and sort of some interior damage. And it's a very important symbol, and also physically, for the Christian community. I know uh, Aid to the Church Need largely financed the Cathedral of St. Elijah's restoration. Yeah. Can you talk about some of the challenges that you faced repairing it? Because I know the damage was significant. Well, the first thing is uh, Aleppo's position. It is very close to the, the border of Turkey. And uh, because of that, it has been sort of on the front lines of a lot of the, the skirmishes and battles that are ongoing. So it's, it's not a very simple area to work in. Uh, and it, it did cause some challenges in bringing materials and getting the jobs completed. Uh, but, you know, the, the Christian community there is very strong and really desirous of making this happen. So uh, they, really, they really did a heroic effort in finishing it. And our donors were generous enough to help pay for it. Well, the Christian community in Aleppo, I know, has suffered greatly over the years as a result of the civil war in Syria. What's life like for Christians right now, and have things gotten any better for them? Oh, it's awful. It's um, right now the average salary for a wage earner is about $95 a month. And uh, it costs in the neighborhood of 100 to $150 a month just to maintain a residence because people aren't in their homes. They've had to rent uh, houses away from where the, the battles are. Uh, at least two-thirds of the Christian population has left. Uh, they're relocated in places like Lebanon and Jordan and uh, perhaps in, uh, in Europe, the United States. So the, 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 the community has dwindled. Uh, the economic situation is bad. There are security issues. There's problems with transportation and moving between place to place. But like I said, they, they're, they're very steadfast in their belief that they belong there in their, in their history. So it's important for us to support them. Uh, Maronite Archbishop Joseph Tob Tobji of Aleppo was quoted as saying, St. Elijah's restoration and reopening is, quote, a way to tell the people in Aleppo, in Syria, and in the world that we still exist. That is a very powerful message. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, one of the other things he said is that our, our voices must uh, sing out in praise within this place. And, and it's very important. You know, for us here in the United States, we often go to old churches, and they're built in the 1850s or 1860s. This is a community that was, was founded by the apostles. And so for them, this is historic holy land, and it is. Uh, so it's very important that they, that they have an opportunity to stay there and an opportunity to have a place to come together. And churches represent a, a big part of that life uh, in the Christian community. Well, Edward, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it, and thank you for what you do. Edward Clancy, Director of Outreach for Aid to the Church in Need USA, thank you again. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.